Hello, James here with Crayford Nabs. I'm here to showcase the Nissan Duke 1 litre turbo, 114 brake horsepower Tecna Plus. This is top of the line, so it has all of the gadgets and all of the creature gadgets that you could want. Let's have a look around the vehicle. So having a look under the bonnet, as I mentioned, it comes with a 1 litre turbo engine. So although it is a 1 litre engine, some people would say it is small. However, with that, you get the better fuel efficiency. Now, when you add in the turbo, that also increases your power output. So that's where the 114 brake horsepower comes from. Now it also has a 47.9 miles per gallon fuel economy, which is very good considering the size of the vehicle. Also comes with a five star NCAPS safety rating. So taking a look around at the exterior of the vehicle, as you can see, it's managed to maintain the old generation Duke's looks, um, but they've made it more modern and stylish. So that comes with the new LED headlights as standard, the more sculpted LED daytime running lights, we also have the 19 inch Akari alloy wheels that is exclusive to the Tecna Plus. Also comes with electric folding mirrors, intelligent key which is a keyless entry so you can use the button on the door handle which will unlock the vehicle and then similar to our other model in the range the Micra comes with the hidden door handles so it gives that element of the floating roof. The next generation Duke they've managed to improve the wheelbase of the vehicle so the door ingress is actually larger, meaning getting in and out of the vehicle is much easier. And as you can see, look at how much legroom I've got. Now the interior of the Duke has also got a black roof lining, so it's a much more cosier place to be. But it doesn't feel claustrophobic because they've managed to actually open up the roof itself. So moving around to the rear of the vehicle, have a look inside the boot. So the new Duke now comes with 422 litres of boot space. So when compared to its older sister, the Qashqai, um, it's only 8 litres smaller. So although it's a smaller vehicle, it is comparable in size for the boot. Now it also comes with your split level boot. So you can raise up the level and it gives it a nice flat loading bay there as well. And as you can see, just in the centre of the seats here, you've got the 60-40 split. So you can fold down just one side rather than both. It's nice and easy to use. On the right hand side, there's just a little hole you just put your fingers in and you can push it all the way forward. So the Duke Tecna Plus comes with a full leather interior. They also have heated seats on the front as well. They're nice and easy to use. There's just a button next to the air conditioner button. Now, the two front seats, they've been adjusted to a monoform seat. So what that means is it focuses on the spinal support. So on long journeys, it's nice and comfortable and you don't get fatigued. And also on the sides of the seats, they've got these higher bolsters. So when you go around the corners, you're not going to be rolling about as much. The two front seats also come with the Bose headrests, which is a great bit of tech. If you get really into your audio, it gives out superior sound quality. So next on the list of features for the Duke is the ProPilot function. Now what that is, is it's Nissan's semi-autonomous driving. All you need to do is it doubles up like cruise control, but it also has the adaptive cruise control in it. So press your blue button, which is on the steering wheel for the Pro Pilot. You can set it at 60 mile an hour, say. If the car in front of you is only going 40 miles an hour, then what happens is when you approach them, you will slow down to 40 mile an hour to match their speed. So as they speed up to 50, you would speed up as well. And if they went to 70, you would maximize your speed at 60. You can adjust the car lengths. Um, so you can have three, two, or one. Three is of course always the safest. Now, if you're on dual carriageways or motorways and things like that, it also has built-in steering assist as well. So the car will actually help steer for you ever so slightly, but as I said, that's just gonna reduce a little bit of fatigue on there as well. So the new Duke now comes with an eight inch infotainment display. They've actually situated it higher up on the dashboard, so it's much easier to see and it's much more at eye level. So what it's gonna be on there is of course your radio. Now it comes with AM, FM and digital. So you can get all the radio channels that you will need. On there, you're also gonna have your built-in satellite navigation unit, which also comes with the TomTom Tom traffic, which is another great feature. Now, because it's a Tecna Plus, it also has all your gadgets. So one of the best technologies that Nissan has released is gonna be the around view monitor. So cameras all the way around the car. So you have one in the front bumper, rear bumper, and underneath your windows. Now that gives you a bird's eye view of the car, so you can see any curbs when you're parking. So you're gonna be saving those 19 inch alloys and then also has a second reversing camera on there as well, so you can see anything behind you. Now, when it gets paired up with parking sensors front and rear of the vehicle, it means you shouldn't be bumping into anything. Okay, so alongside with the next generation Duke, Nissan have developed another app. Now, what this app enables you to do is view whether the vehicle is locked or unlocked. You can also view the driving history. You can see um, where the car is. You can flash the headlights. You can also 
beep the horn if you can't find it. Um, lastly, you can see the battery output of the car as well. So if I show you just on the app here, it's nice and easy to use. Um, now we can go through all this when we do the appointments or virtual appointments. So for more information on the next generation Nissan Duke or how we can help you further, just give us a call on 01263 588 160 or you can visit our website. Now we are operating under click and delivery um, terms at the moment. So all the SAMP vehicles are sanitized before we deliver the car to you. Um, we also have virtual appointments available so we can do it via Zoom calls or FaceTime and things like that. So just get in touch if you have any queries.